Hey everybody, Tyler here, Boulevard Home. We have another fantastic tip for you as you are at home. This deals with stainless steel appliances. Many of us wonder, how do we best clean stainless steel? You can see some refrigerators behind me. We've made sure they're nice and dirty. We wanna test for you and prove to you and show you what the best type of stainless steel cleaner is. As we know, that is such a major question for so many people. Many of us have issues with keeping our stainless steel clean, especially if we have kids running around the house, fingers sticky, things like that. You can see behind me, you know, this LG refrigerator smudges all over it. We got a Whirlpool fridge here also, and I'm gonna talk a little bit more about the Frigidaire as well as a Bosch. But there's many ways and many chemicals or products that we can use to clean stainless steel. A couple of them that we're gonna to demonstrate today are, one, we have vinegar mixed with water. Simple solution many of us have at home. We also have oil-based cleaners that you can buy at many stores, um, and there's benefits and disadvantages with oil-based cleaners. You can use water, you can use water with dish soap, and then you can also use rubbing alcohol. So we've got some rubbing alcohol here to, to show you how that works as well. Most common household cleaning items is bleach. Some people wonder, can I just use bleach? It kills, it sanitizes many things, it cleans things. On stainless steel, you do not want to use bleach. It's a big no-no. Don't do it, it can easily damage your stainless steel, put major permanent streaks in it, so do not go and use some bleach that you have lying around at home. First, we're gonna apply on this section of the fridge. I'm gonna split this fridge up in three sections to use the three different cleaners to see if we can see an obvious difference on this Whirlpool refrigerator. I'm gonna first use the oil-based cleaner. The oil-based cleaner is good for a couple reasons. Uh, as you spray it on there, you know, you do a light service, you don't wanna use too much. Oil-based goes a long way. Disadvantage with the oil-based cleaner is it leaves a bigger film on the fridge, which could potentially lead to the fridge getting dirty quicker after the fact that it's clean. So you spray it on, we wanna let it sit for a few minutes. One good tip is make sure whatever cleaner you use, you've tested it on a small portion of the stainless steel first to make sure that it doesn't damage the stainless steel. So now I've got vinegar and water, so the vinegar water mix. What we've done here on this fridge is we've designated the three separate areas of the three types of cleaners we're gonna use and be testing. On top is the oil-based cleaner. So right here I'm gonna spray, what you wanna do is spray a fine mist on the, on the refrigerator uh, to cover that up, and, and then you wanna let it sit there for a little bit as it, it soaks in. So the third cleaning ingredient that we're gonna use is rubbing alcohol. With rubbing alcohol, there's really two steps you wanna go about. First off is similar to the other ones, you wanna spray it, very light mist, onto the fridge. And the benefit with the rubbing alcohol is not only does it clean, but it also adds that sanitary side of it as well. So we've waited a few minutes now. What I'm gonna start first with is the oil-based cleaner. Anytime you're wiping any of these cleaners off of a refrigerator, you look at the, the direction, the grain of the refrigerator, stainless steel goes on the refrigerator. Each refrigerator has a different direction of grain. Most of them are horizontal, uh, but I've seen them uh, differently as well, and they all have different sheens. So we're gonna start with the oil-based cleaner up here. We're going to wipe across, go with the grain, um, and then with oil-based, um, it is a little thicker, and as I mentioned before, it tends to put a little bit more of a shine on. It leaves a little oily base on the refrigerator, but it also causes down the road its potential to get dirtier quicker. All right, we're gonna go to the second one, the vinegar water mix, um, and we're gonna do the same thing we just did with the oil-based cleaner. So our third option on this fridge is we're gonna use the rubbing alcohol. We already sprayed it with a mist, let it sit for a while. It's recommended you know, anywhere from five to 20 minutes, let it sit. But after it sits, then you put some added rubbing alcohol onto a cloth, and then along with that, you then rub it down. So let's see, we wanna stay with the grain as well. Let's see how that works. The benefit with rubbing alcohol, it not only cleans it, but also sanitizes it.
Okay, we finished cleaning all four of these refrigerators and then we've let them sit for a few minutes to make sure they're dry, make sure you can truly see the final product and finish and results of the cleaning products that we used. As we're looking at all the ref refrigerators, we wanted to quickly go through what we felt are the, the positives and negatives to each cleaner. Uh, as we look at this first LG refrigerator, this was by far the dirtiest one, the one that shows streaks the easiest when it's dirty. Uh, when you look at the top section, which is the oil-based cleaners, at first we thought it cleaned very well, but as it dried, we can see a number of streaks still in it with our eyes. Um, and with it, if you rub your fingers on it, the streaks show up much quicker. Uh, on the center section, which was the vinegar and water section, it looks pretty clean. Uh, we don't see too many streaks on it. There's, there's not that film left over on it. And then when we look at the bottom section, which was the alcohol-based, um, it does have that sanitizing option, but you can see there's still a little more streaks, so it would take extra work to get those streaks out. Going into the Whirlpool fridge, uh, we, we talked about here, as, as it dried, the oil base still has, uh, it looks really nice, but it does have that finish on it that, that allows you, if people touch it, uh, fingerprints, things will show up much quicker. Um, again, on the Whirlpool one, we felt like the vinegar and water performed best as it, it left a lot of streaks on the bottom here with the alcohol uh, finish. Frigidaire, which already comes with that, that smudge um, resistant finish, uh, this is a little harder. I would probably stay away from the oil-based finish because of the same issues. Uh, there leaves a finish and things might show up. It's hard to tell the difference here, but with this one, it feels we feel like the, the alcohol-based finish works the best on the Frigidaire because there wasn't a big difference between these two and the alcohol-based gives us the sanitizing option as well. Going to the Bosch, a higher-end fridge, uh, very similar results. We feel like all of them did a pretty good job cleaning here. The oil based as all of them, it cleans it really quickly. Over time it dries and you can see a few streaks uh, and it leaves that finish to where if you rub it or touch it, you'll start to see fingerprints show up as, there, as well. Uh, these two, the vinegar and the, and the alcohol based, they dry, so which is, I think that's a big benefit is that it's dry, it doesn't leave a, a residue on there to quickly get it dirty again. Um, and between these two, there's not a difference really outside of, it takes a little more effort to use the alcohol-based cleaner to get all the, the streaks out of the refrigerator. So what we found, we feel like in general, uh, just a general opinion, is the water and vinegar solution works best on majority of stainless steel refrigerators. However, what's important for you to know is understand what stainless steel your appliances have. It is different depending on the brand, the type, the quality of stainless that your appliances have. So as you're watching this video, take note of what type of stainless your refrigerator is. And, and there's benefits for all types of cleaners, whether it's sanitation, whether it's that quick and bright shiny sheen that the oil does give, the oil-based cleaner does give. Um, but we recommend in general that the, the water vinegar-based solution work the best. Thank you everybody for watching today. Hopefully these tips were very beneficial. Also, please subscribe to our channel. We'd love to have you subscribe. Ring that bell so you'll get notified every time we post a video. Have a great day and thank you very much.